solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as a trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. And I loved one of the quotes um, in the book, David. Uh, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to quote from the book. You know, you say, when problems are complex and intertwined, things can feel messy. Imagine there's a muddy swamp and you need to cross it to get to the high ground on the other side. At first, you carefully look for, carefully look for rocks to step on so that you don't get mud on your shoes. But halfway across the rocks end and you have a choice. Do I go on and wade through the swamp or should I just turn around? Uh, can you can you say more about this phenomenon uh, since you spoke about <laughs> risk? Well, let me tell you how I experience. So, let's say I'm raising an issue. Um, okay, I'll say with I'll say with my wife Eva, and who I love dearly, and um, I raise one issue, and I say, "Gee, honey, when you do X, you know." And she says, well, as a matter of fact, uh, the reason I do X is because I get really bothered when you do Y. And I say, well, the trouble is that uh, the reason why I do Y is because of, uh, you know, I don't know about this or about that. And she says, there's that. And all of a sudden, what seemed like a very simple piece of feedback is now a pretty muddy swamp <laughs> because there are at least five different issues all building on each other. And they probably build on each other because we haven't raised them early enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is frequently a problem with all of us. The temptation at this point is to say, oh, it's nothing. And to get turn around and go back away, staying on the on the rocks. And I think what you need to do is you need to say, there's a hell of a lot here and it's pretty messy. Hmm. But let's stick in it and see what all these issues are. And rather than using the issues as bludgeons to justify ourselves, let's take it apart. And it may be a longer conversation than you expected. Hmm. And it may be a conversation that can't be resolved in one city. Hmm. city. But can we go through the swamp and clean those up? okay, I see that when I do X, that's how it bothers you. And you're saying it leads you to do Y. So what can we do about it? And now we can get into problem solving. Remember, feedback starts a conversation. It doesn't end it. Hmm. We wish it would end it. We wish that I could say, Deepak, would you do X? This is the impact on me. And you say, yes, I've got it. That's it. And we walk away. And there are some issues like that, but in most cases, hmm. it's intertwined and we need to work it out and problem solve various ways of doing it. And what we say is, can you take the risk of sticking in there, not getting into the blame game, but focus on behavior and the impact on you? 